How many of us have thought, I can't change the world. I can't do anything big or powerful. Maybe that's not what you're asked to do. Maybe you're asked to go somebody who, go asked to love somebody who's unlovable. Maybe you're asked to go and love somebody that you're supposed to love like your parents or your son or your daughter or your brother. Just that kid that pesters you all the time. Just don't throw the anger back at him. And see, if we're really honest, what we realize is even if we all got together and found a way to sort of mount all of our good acts and works together, there's no way that we can counteract all this horrible stuff that's been done in the past. Generations and generations, centuries and centuries, centuries of, of horrible deeds have been done in the name of God, politics, whoever. And we really need somebody to show us what we're supposed to live like. And I find out that I'm the least qualified to be hanging out over in the hood with a bunch of people. You know, because I am the whitest, white bred, suburban, middle class, nuclear family male to grace the cover of a small startup, $35 billion cellular phone company, computer, fit, computer chip drone company's portfolio. I drive in my sports car with my Ray-Bans peeping out my sunroof, dogs woof, kids stand aloof, can't believe this white man's groove is blaring so loudly, obscenely. Serenely, I drive through the town to my company, my, my comforting downy soft pillow loft, air conditioned refrigeration, TV stationed home. I live with two other similar pale units on the west side of the highway, separating the just and unjust, blessed and unblessed, rich and poor. But there's more to this story than my supposed well bred stock. Because he is the ghetto gutter gambling gangster from a long line of the criminal sort, dealing supplies to snort with a chortle through a frontal portal if you so desire. He'll light a fire to his lace cigarette, load up his alcohol wet mouth with a codeine, high flying remedy, dealing out explosions of curses, free verses of rhythm sublime. Tomorrow's headlines may have him hold through with supersonic lances. His shootout romance is one too many for every penny he sold was the future of million dollar boldness to harness the promise of riches and excess and prowess and progress and lifeless. He lay. And solace was mine for all the words I left behind in the back of my throat. But we are not dead yet. We are the oddest odd couple that scratch the surface of your shallow pond. The bond we share cannot be expressed in words, winks, glances, looks, books, telegraphs, paragraphs, phonographs, or other unrhyming forms of communication. We are friends. We are brothers, enjoying one another's company, poetry, comedy, parody, united in this time we share. I'm aware of the fragile beauty form there in that place we meet in the meals we eat, in the journey of the street to the door of his beaming, dilapidated house. See, I pray for him. I pray the chains of addiction would be broken, the bear trap of poverty would be loosed and left as a token reminder to give back to the community. I pray for me. I pray that I'd be able to see the true brilliance shouting from within, underneath his sweating black skin, that I would not run away, be dismayed, hide my head in the sand when it's time to stand and speak vulnerable words forged in the heat of late night wrestlings with the angel of God. Man, I pray for all of us. I pray that our brotherhood would grow stronger, the division would hover no longer, that we'd be joined by all you other koinonia bridges across the highway. We're on the road today, a combination couple so bizarre to the mouth you left. A jar. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'm Fred. It's not like he's kidnapped me yet. We're together in our common originality, just Rashi and me. Man, I'm hoping and I'm waiting for Rashi's life to change. But you know, whether his life changes or not, he's in jail right now. And, uh, you know, we write letters back and forth. 
Whether his life changes or not, I'm still going to be his friend. 